Space Jam, A New Legacy is a 2021 American live action animated sports comedy film directed by Malcolm D. Lee, serving as a standalone sequel based on the 1996's Space Jam. It's the first theatrically released film to feature Looney Tunes characters since Looney Tunes back in action in 03. And there's also a combination of live action, traditional hand drawn animation. And yada, yada, yada. Stars LeBron James as a fictionalized version of himself, along with Don Cheeto, Chris Davis, uh, Sanaiqua, Martin Green, uh, in live action roles, why Jeff Bergman, Eric Booza, and Zendaya headline a Looney Tunes voice cast. Uh, set in the shared uh, Warner Bros. virtual space multiverse, the film follows James teaming up with the Looney Tunes to win a basketball match against digitalized champions to rescue his son. From Rogue AI. First of all, let's get into it. Let's get right into it. <sighs> Going into this film, uh, I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, a lot of people clamor about the first uh, Space Jam, which was, you know, it was a classic for the simple fact that it was the first of its kind. Uh, it had Michael Jackson, who, I mean, Michael Jordan, who was obviously uh, considered amongst a lot to be the greatest players of all time. One of the greatest basketball players of all time, if not the greatest. Um... Uh, so going into this, there was a lot of pressure, uh, especially because LeBron James is thought to be kind of like the predecessor to MJ. And, um, you know, a lot of people didn't want this sequel to happen. Uh, a lot of people didn't think it would happen. This sequel has been years in the making. It's been talks about rumblings. It finally comes to fruition. Um, and, you know, upon watching it, uh, one of the first critiques that I'm going to say, and a lot of other people say is the acting, uh, and, um, in particular, LeBron James is acting, um, which was it wasn't that great. It wasn't that good at all. Uh, but if you watch the first Space Jam, Michael Jordan's acting wasn't great either. Uh, you got to think they're basketball players. They're not actors. Um, they're doing the best they can. Uh, it's tolerable. Um, it's not an exceptional, but it's tolerable. Um, aside from that, it was like, well, what are we going to do now? We already did this. Uh, let's see how they're going to play this out. And, um, you know, I I had no expectations going into it. I thought it was just going to kind of be like, you know, just a money grab. And I'm like, oh. And then I watched it. And uh, I got to say that uh, I was pleasantly surprised by this movie. Uh, I enjoyed it, man. Listen, there's a lot of critics nitpicking this, that. You got to watch this movie for what it is. It's a kid's movie. This movie, if you got young kids, toddlers in particular like I do, they're being introduced to the Looney Tunes for the first time. You know, Looney Tunes is something I know a lot of us hold dear to our hearts because that was a big part of our childhood. Bugs, Daffy, uh, Elmer, um, hey, you name it. These, these They were an integral part of our childhood. Uh, you know, Bugs Bunny was that guy. He was that guy, hands down. Um, and to see them get introduced into this new generation and... <laughs> And to see how their characters are, because you, if you go from not watching something for such a long time, like I don't, it's not like I go and watch old Bugs Bunny clips or cartoons. I haven't watched Bugs Bunny since I was a kid, uh, probably since the last Space Jam. So I go to see this and see how his character is and see how their personalities are. And it's like, yo, Bugs was, he was kind of an a hole and he was a troublemaker. <laughs> He was kind of a troublemaker. And uh, I didn't realize Porky Pig stuttered that much. And it's hilarious. Like, I was laughing at these little nuances that these characters embody for years. But you, you're a kid. But seeing it as an adult and seeing how these people just, these characters have, like, real-life human uh, deficiencies or shortcomings, you could say. <laughs> but they're animals. It's hilarious to me. Uh but the plot, uh, obviously, is um, LeBron James' son. He's he's in the computers. LeBron wants him to be in the basketball. He's not. He's in the computers. Uh, he's in the coding. Um, and he designed something. Um, but LeBron's not interested in it. So they go to a meeting, and uh, AI and some, some tech people want LeBron to invest in kind of like this new video game. Um, virtual reality type thing, and LeBron's not interested, and he calls it corny. And then the AI, uh, he winds up, um, he's in the computer, and he, but he can see everything that's going on. 
and he has a uh he has some gripes about it so he he winds up going rogue and he winds up trapping lebron's son and he tells lebron the only way to get his way his son back he has to play him and that's how the uh the story progresses from there now lebron has to record a uh, recruit a team so what i liked about this is that they're in the warner brothers universe so warner brothers owns a lot of properties uh you know dc um Yogi Bear, Flint, like a lot of properties that I didn't even know about. Uh, Matrix, um, uh, Austin Powers, you know, it's all these properties. And I love the way they incorporated the Looney Tunes characters in the certain movies. Like Elmer Fudd walks in and he's he's Mr. Um, Austin Powers nemesis. What's his name? The guy that he's, he's dressed like him. Uh, you got Granny dressed like... Uh, She's in the Matrix, and she's doing it slow. <laughs> and then LeBron James and Bugs come in as Morpheus and Neo, and they're trying to recruit. <laughs> like, uh, Babs Bunny is in Themyscira, training to be an Amazonian. And Wonder Woman's in it. Like, how could you not like this? Like, I don't understand. As a, If you're a comic book fan, if you're a Justice League, the Justice League was in this movie. I know a lot of people saying, oh, it was cross-promotion, it was convoluted, it was cut. No, that's what you're supposed to do. If I'm in a movie, if I'm in a video, I'm going to have Future Tree in their clothing. I'm going to have Future Tree in their hat. I'm going to have whatever product I'm endorsing. I'm going to have whatever business that I own in the video. It's just cross-promotion. It's just smart marketing um, from a business standpoint. You got to look at stuff like that. Um, and only that, it's funny as hell. Like, you got... The Looney Tunes, who haven't been around for however long, and they're this is what they're doing. They're in the Matrix. They're in the mascara. They're <laughs> like this is funny stuff. Um, but the point I was trying to make is that um, uh, you get to see all these individual properties uh, in this one movie. But LeBron's trying to recruit uh, heavy hitters, and he's. <laughs> He's getting short end of the stick. He's getting the original Looney Tunes character. He wants Superman. Daffy's uh, dressed like Superman, but he don't get Superman. He gets Daffy, and uh, it just goes from there. And, um, you know, obviously, they got to play the bad guys who are played by, like, Clay Thompson. And um, uh, what's the guy? In the, what's the guy? He's on LeBron's team. Uh, Anthony Davis. He's the brow. And you got Damian Lillard and... Uh, <laughs> but they, 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 Leslie, I believe Leslie might have been in there as well. But they got these special powers, uh, to where they turn themselves into like, but they have enhancements. So they're kind of like, you know, obviously they're winning, but then the Looney Tunes, you know, they decide to come up with a defy. I'm not going to spoil that for you if you haven't seen it, but they come up with a plan that, uh, works in their favor. And, uh, well, I don't, I'm not going to tell you who won, you know, let's, let's watch the movie. Uh, but I really like this, man. I, I really like Don Cheeto as the villain. Uh, shout out to Don Cheeto, dude. he been in a million things. And let's talk about the fact that he got nominated for an Emmy for uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And he was in a show for 98 seconds. I meant to do a video on that. I ain't get around to it. Uh, probably too late now, but whatever. Uh, he even said he didn't get it. But he did a great job in this, and I, like I said, I, I'm glad to see him working, man. He's since uh, Avengers or whatnot, or just the Marvel movies, he's consistently been working. So shout out to him. Also, he has said that uh, I guess it just got announced that he's doing uh, a show for War Machine on Disney Plus, so he'll be getting his own show as well. Shout out to him, and that's what I like. Um, I like that a lot. So, um. Yeah, I, I had listen. Every every movie gonna have some nitpicks, um, but you gotta just deal with the you know you gotta deal with it. everything. Ain't gonna be perfect, uh, but um, <laughs> I like the Don Cheeto's name in it. it was started, uh, what was it? It was uh, it was supposed to be algorithm, but it it, it was algae rhythm or something like that like it was a it was a nice little play on it i'm like yo that's that was that was clever i like that i like little shit like that um what else i the only thing another thing that i wanted from this movie when it was making it is the reason another reason that the first movie is considered such a classic is because of the soundtrack if you if you ever 
listen to the first soundtrack or if you could go back and listen to it now, it's a song on there where Bugs Bunny is rapping a full song. Bugs Bunny is rapping. And Jay-Z wrote the song for Bugs Bunny on that soundtrack. So if you get a chance, go listen to that song on the original Space Jam soundtrack. Bugs Bunny's rapping, and he's talking about carrots and ice. Jay-Z wrote that for him, and it, the song is fire. The beat is higher. At least it was then. I haven't heard it in, the, in a while. It might be corny now. But, yeah, Jay-Z was writing for Bugs Bunny back then. <laughs> uh, also, I Believe I Could Fly. Let's address the elephant in the room. Uh, that song pretty much made the movie. Uh, it, it made you want to see it. Uh, the scenes inside the fucking the video, um, it was a great. So that was one of the things I was I was concerned about. Uh, I wanted a great great soundtrack, um, and I think that the Kurt Franklin Little Baby song was kind of uh, supposed to be like the big inspirational draw song, and uh, I like that song a lot. I actually do like that. You know when they played it, but it, it's not. I believe I could fly, but hey. Let's not compare. This is a new, uh, new legacy. It's a new uh, situation. Um, and also, uh, I wanted those Air Force Ones, those uh, Space Jam uh, legacy Air Force Ones that dropped out. And I was working. I completely forgot about them. And by the time I called them around, they only had a size 10. And I wore a 12. I'm like, man, should I just try to stuff my foot in these joints? But I'm like, nah, I ain't even going to do it. I ain't even going to play myself like that. So I didn't get those. Uh, you know, I had a little hole, a little fit I wanted to wear, but it's all good, man. But I'm I'm glad to see the sneakers are selling out the the Space Jam Legacy joints, Air Force Ones. Uh, and, you know that 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 means people are invested. Uh, LeBron James to me is the greatest player, basketball player of all time. Uh, and listen, I you know how me I'm quick to say something is trash if I don't like it. Uh, so what I would rate this, you know, I use the mic system because, you know, I'm a rapper, rapper. So huh, I rate, uh, I rate everything with mics, uh, out of five. So what I would give this out of five, how many mics I would get this out of five? I would give this a solid, uh, I would get this a solid three out of five mics. Um, you know, it's not a classic It's obviously has flaws, but I think it's a great time overall for the kids. And for you to watch, uh, you know, like my daughter say, Nabram James. She don't say LeBron. She says, Nabram James. <laughs> but uh, post your comments below. Let me know what you thought about the movie. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Until next time, peace, love, and prosperity. I am the Black Abstract One.